Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to take the extracted movie and we're going to compress it into a uh, formula that's going to work pretty good to give you perfect uh, compression. As you see, we created two folders. One's a before movie X. And we're going to take a look at the uh, properties of this. You're going to notice it says 16.8 gigabyte. So we're going to look at the properties of the, the compressed one once it's done. So let's just uh, cancel out of here. Shut this window down. And we're going to go load up the AVCHD coder. If you uh, haven't installed this program, you can go watch the other videos to configure it. And uh, we need a little BDMV. Select our folder and select our movie X that we made from TS Musker in the last video. And as you see, I'm selecting the BDM folder. I'm going to press open, and it's going to show the time of the movie, which will show up right in that box there. To play to convert, we're going to press the set button, like so. Now up here, we're going to change the 1080, 10, 1920 to 720p, and we're going to leave the audio untouched because we already dealt with it with TS Musker. We're going to enable all subtitles, press add and click yes. We're going to call the movie title movie X and then we're going to set our formula. Pull up the calculator. Now the formula I use, I use this with all movies. You can uh, select the options or you can type 7000 divided by 60 equals the calculation I use per minute of video and then we know that the the video is two hours and two minutes which is 6120 122 so I take 122 minutes I convert it to minutes and times it by that formula and I punch it in the box here and if you notice down below where it says average bit rate once I where I'm showing right there with the arrow it changes it to 14007 by doing this, all your movies will be the same bit rate. So now we're going to select our folder where we want it. And I called it movie after compression. And then we're going to press add to queue. And that's going to get ready for the compression of the disk. So we're going to press yes. And then they're going to press this button right here and it's going to start to compress. It's going to first extract it, convert the audio, which is going to skip. And then it's going to do the subtitles, two passes, moxing it up, and then it'll be ready for playback. And that's the time of the compression it takes to do it. Okay, so now we're back. Uh, it's done compressed. It took four hours and 43 minutes. I'm gonna press the OK button. There's no errors return, and all the files have gone through their 100% as shown here. Now this is a freeware program. This doesn't cost any money to do this. So that's why I'm showing these steps. So now we're gonna see what how the results are of the compression on how much it took down the 16 gigabyte to. So we're going to go load the before and after, as I'm showing you right now. And the before, I believe, was 16 point something gig. We'll just pull out the properties real quick here and show you. Yep, 16. I believe that's a 16.8 gig. Yep. And now we're going to go find the compressed one. Now remember, the disk started off at 45 gigabyte and we brought it down to this is the final result so it's uh, the properties we brought it down to 13.1 gigabyte so we brought a 45 gigabyte movie with all the crap down to 13.1 gigabyte so there you go guys now if you use these settings exactly the way I show in this video you'll end up with some really nice video the audio will be perfect you'll have jitter free video it'll all be in sync and uh, that's what we're all looking for here. So, and then this is designed to be played back on NPC or VLC. So I just thought I'd show you this uh, real quick. We're gonna pull up uh, some some uh, check out the video, make sure that it plays. So I'm gonna load up the uh, NPC, and we're gonna go find our after compression movie X video. Fortunately, I'm gonna have to blank out the video due to copyright, but we'll. Uh, we're just to check it to see if it actually plays and works. 
And like I said, you can do this on two, on a movie and then compare the clips side by side and judge for yourselves whether you like my settings or not. I think you'll be very happy with the, uh, the formula that I use. So let's just push play here, load it up. Should start right up. And there you go. So it looks like it's playing pretty good. We have no frames dropped. Um, perfectly lined up. The audio is playing. Now remember, this movie had Dolby Atmos. We down converted it, and we extracted the movie only, and then we muxed it, and then we compressed it. So th the last part in this video series will be subtitles and MKV. And um, if you ever have a movie with four subtitles, we will go into depth about that. But you're going to do all these steps first before you deal with subtitles.